I can imagine you cringing as I say this, Matt, but I'm gonna use some shakes to help me with my weight loss. Now, this is something that comes up a lot. People often assume that I'm gonna go, oh, don't use shakes, but actually using shakes in alignment with how the research shows that they do work is actually totally fine. And actually in some cases, a convenient and easy way to help someone achieve a calorie deficit if they like using them. Now, the key thing I bring up here is using it in line with what the research shows, because this is a key thing. Often they just use it inappropriately. It's like, I'll oh, just chuck in a shake there, just grab a shake there and hope that, and I mean like meal replacement shakes here, and hope that we're in a calorie deficit. When actually all we do is we have them as snacks, we then just eat normal food on top of that. Now, th this is actually something that we talk about a lot. We have something called our rapid shape up shift where it's, you start with five days and you make your own protein shakes. And for example, uh, meal replacement shakes, for example, this could be um, a scoop of whey protein, almond milk or skim milk, frozen berries, um, optional nut butter, something like that, and then some veggies in there as well. Easy whiz up, done. And actually tastes pretty good. If you do like uh, chocolate protein, frozen cherries, really good. Or if you go down the route of like banana, banana always takes over that flavor. Now the reason, you could have some yogurt in there. Now the reason this works so well is because it's convenient and easy. So for example, if it's shake, shake, then our meal maker meal, so you can eat with the family in the evening still. You have that flexibility, so you're not just like eating nothing but shakes. The reason this works quite well is it's convenient, easy, and it's actually nutritious. And actually it gives people the option if they don't like shakes to still have these foods, because actually you could just switch the protein powder for the yogurt and just have all the ingredients, but with a yogurt instead. And actually what it does is minimize choice. And although there's nothing special about that, it just causes people to go, Fewer decisions mean I'm going to make better choices here because I don't have to think about what I'm going to have for breakfast. And quite often the questions that we have are like, well, but is it natural having a shake? Well, what does natural actually mean here? If you look at those ingredients I've just said, apart from whey protein, which is probably the biggest anomaly as it comes to processed food because it's a supplement. And let's face it, it comes just naturally from milk anyway. Um, apart from that, they're all whole foods just blended up into a smoothie so actually it is quote unquote natural um is it nutritious though with a shake would i be deficient well in this case you're getting berries in you and vegetables in potentially and nut butter in there so essential fats in there so you're actually getting a lot of nutrition and actually there's a lot to be said for malnutrition um, of overconsumption of calories as well so people are actually consuming too many calories but are still malnourished because the foods they are choosing are not nutritious so there's a lot to be said for that side of it as well. And my point being here is if you use it in a way where you've got some accountability, you've got some structure, you've got a coach helping you out on here, then I don't see a, a problem or you're following something that's evidence-based, whether that's around the um, 800 calorie um, diabetes plan that got made um, quite big in the research. In fact, I did my research, postgrad research around that, that diet, that 800 calories um, to see if people overcompensated or not um, and if someone's in the right space where they're like I'm super motivated often there's like an external event or it's a health reason where someone's like I'm gonna do this as long as you know how to transition out of it um, that would be the key thing because if you're just left to it and you're like on off on off well that's where we see the typical yo-yo dieting and if you need help with that, do comment below of Kickstart and we can go through that in our next Kickstart with you because every time we start, we have that one-to-one -to, -one to make sure everything is personalised for you. So have an awesome day and I'll see you.